Hello everyone, January 13th and another episode of Daily Meta as we're working our way still in the very beginning parts of Search for a Nonviolent Future. I'd like to share a formula with you that would kind of frame the discussion we're trying to have here. Uh, in thinking about Martin Luther King Jr. and what he achieved and what he wanted to achieve, it seemed to me, looking at his career, that he was able to delegitimate racism but not delegitimate violence. He wanted to. He was working on it. But that problem was much too difficult. And uh, I think the kickback is what cost him his life. This concept of delegitimization is quite important. It was formulated uh, for our field by Kenneth Boulding, who showed that if you can delegitimate a regime, it collapses very quickly. Uh, Delegitimating racism doesn't mean that he got rid of racism, but it does mean that he made it in a way uh, unacceptable in, in a formal way. And I think uh, a lot of us have been kind of jumping on that bandwagon with a very reasonable notion that if a group has been disrespected, then by raising the dignity of that group, we raise human dignity. And that is inherently true but I think it only really works if we do it completely nonviolently, because it is the nonviolence that really starts to sound the keynote of human dignity. This is why Jimmy Carter, when he was elected president, the first thing he did was invite Rosa Parks to come to his inauguration, because as he very astutely pointed out, she helped to raise the dignity of the South. She made it possible for a person from the South to become president. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm going to go on very shortly now to talk about a remarkable experiment that should be giving us a pointer. And I think it's significant that this experiment took place in 1952. And there wasn't much attention to it paid then, and there hasn't been much now. So next time, let's talk about that. David's experiment, and of course, we're all being invited to join our own experiment in a nonviolent life. Till tomorrow, then.